testimony in the Jessica Chambers murder retrial continued today. Quinton Tellis is accused of setting the 19-year-old on fire in December 2014. The first trial ended in a hung jury. Local 24's Tish Clark has a look at today's testimony in Batesville, Mississippi. Day five centered around testimony from an intelligence analyst who pointed out cell phone data and video surveillance in which he says placed Quentin Tellis and Jessica Chambers together in the hours and minutes leading up to her murder. Paul Rallette showed the jury a detailed timeline of events the day Chambers was set on fire beginning with the morning of. Rallette testified that text messages proved Tellis asked Chambers for sex. Chambers refused used, but cell tower data and surveillance footage placed the two of them together at different times throughout the day. Here's Rollette's testimony about Telus' reaction to finding out later that night that Chambers had been burned. This is the same girl that he had just been with. It is? Same girl that he had been with for the days before. Yes, sir. Same girl he had been asking for sex on numerous days. That's true. And the same person that he sent that really nice, sweet, good night, sweet dreams, I'll call you tomorrow. It is. He didn't make one attempt to reach her upon finding out she'd been burned. He did not. In fact, what did he do? He began uh, returning those calls and texts. If you remember during that around the seven time frame, all those girls had been trying to get in touch with him. He begins to get back in touch with those girls. And also, what did he do with the information? from Jessica Chambers that was contained in his phone. What we saw from both his phone dump and from what we saw in the interview with Dustin Blunt, he deleted all text messages and all information uh, between him and Jessica from his phone. And he erased her from his life. The defense is expected to call three witnesses. The jury could start deliberating sometime Sunday. If convicted, Quentin Tellis faces life in prison without parole. In Batesville, Mississippi, Tish Clark, Local 24 News.